I think we're live. Let me refresh. Hello, hello, hello. Are we live? Because I... Oh, there we are. Okay, that took a second. That was that was really weird. So uh, we are going to watch the last part of this Chris Chan documentary. Yeah, this is the end of Chris Chan. It's history in the making, folks. Um, we've watched every single part of the Chris Chan uh <laughs> comprehensive Chris Chan uh, documentary and uh, it's come down to this point. So this is the end. We got one part. It's part 85. I I can't believe it. <laughs> it's it's finally here. What's up Blue X? What's up Tommy? What's up Michael? What's up everybody? If you're here, if you're here for the first time, welcome. What's up, Nathan? Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're brand new. What's up, E.B. Grimley? What's up, Samuel? How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to watch The Last Chris Chan. That's, what it, that's what's over. It's a little bit of a bait. I'm going to... Uh, Change the thumb right now. I just realized it was that stupid thumbnail of of myself. Let's change the thumbnail. I have a beautiful thumbnail of me and Chris Chan. Do I ever wear my leather jacket? Uh, that is an, a, a weird question, but yeah, sometimes I wear a leather jacket when it's cold enough. What's up, pretty idiot? What's up, Shane? What's up, Project Boredom? What's up, Doctor's Office? Yeah, I wear my leather jacket when it's cold enough. Uh, which hasn't been that much recently. Samuel's seen a bit of the Chris Chan. So the Chris Chan thing, if you guys have been paying attention to the channel, we've been watching this documentary for over a year. Been watching all the parts of it. We've been waiting for the moment of the, uh, what is it, the point of no return for Chris Chan when it comes to uh, the mom stuff. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started with it, guys. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't. Thank you, Caddy. I appreciate that. You're too kind. I don't think I'm that handsome. I mean, my mommy says I'm handsome, but I don't think I'm that handsome. I think I'm I'm okay. Do I ever go to Commando? I do not. Texas has been in spring for over a month. Yeah, it's fucking hot. We had a little bit of a cold front a couple of weeks ago, but it it literally is like a day. I prefer the hotter weather anyway. If I'm going to be completely honest. By the way, if you guys haven't seen my video today, I posted a video a few hours ago. Um... With an update on the Review Tech USA JKB uh, situation. If anybody hadn't checked that out yet, feel free to go and uh, give it a look. It just went from 80 to 40s within 48 hours in the 30s tonight. Yeah, we're not in the 30s. Right now it's about 55, so we're, we're good still. <laughs> we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin the Chan. And uh, yeah, this is the moment we've been we've been looking for right here, guys. So I, it's the end of an era, honestly. It's the end of an era. Wild.
no normal intro. In the well, first days of the GoFundMe fundraiser that was set up by Null to help get her to the ever-free Northwest My Little Pony convention, Christine continued to fulfill five drawing orders per day, in addition to filming requested videos as they came in. in this shout out that goes out to the kind and generous Lifeguard! I think it was a little too loud for you. Hermit? Well, at least your name's not Kermit. <laughs> by July 12th, 2021. Chris so July 12th, 2021 is where we're at right now. Um, that's crazy to think that, man, it feels like just yesterday that Chris Chan got arrested, right? Doesn't it feel like that? But yeah, no normal intro this time around. Uh, I don't think that's not a good sign. I think it's just being artsy, like, ooh, this is the finale. You know what I mean? Christine's fundraiser exceeded $4,000. He should have did the intro, right? Intro is the best part. The intro song. If you guys like the intro song to the Chris Chan documentary, push one in the chat. What's up, Samuel? How you doing? Shout outs to all the channel members in the chat, by the way. We got Tommy, Samuel. Uh, saw a couple of other people in here. Shout outs. Dollars in donations, far surpassing the original $1,000 goal. And Null updated the GoFundMe page with the numbers of completed and pending orders. What's up, Megan Tron? What's up, Daniel Barry? Bree Chan, we are. What's over is Chris Chan. Chris Chan's in the thumbnail. This is the end of the Chris Chan documentary. This is the series finale. Satisfied with Chris's work ethic, he relates that she had told him to close the fundraising page when donations reach five thousand dollars. On July thirteenth, the campaign are reached CDs five thousand eighty-five dollars. Um, five times the original goal, obsolete, and the but... openings for new donations and commissions were closed. Chris then went to Twitter to express her gratitude to all those who donated, and revealed that she had prepared 20 laminated book jackets meant to be used with the book Warhol Chris Chan, and offered to give and sign them to any owners of the book that approached her at Everfree Northwest. <laughs> Later that day, she witnessed an illustration from a Twitter user who depicted their warrior character wearing the skin of a sonichu. Chris responded in horror. Uh, woolly fuck on a pike and call it macaroni and murder. You drew someone who. <laughs> oh, they're upset because somebody drew a warrior wear and a Sonichu skin. Skin does Sonichu. Dude, I'm seriously offended seeing this depiction. That is a lot worse compared to just about anything. Even Beast Boy has it worse in empathy because he has been every animal. Also on that day, Christine messaged troll Isabella Loretta Janke, who agreed to accompany her at the convention. She clarified that Bella's role would be travel buddy and bodyguard for the- Travel buddy, yeah, we know what Chris Chan really wanted out of her, right? Chris Chan's such a weird creep, you know, when he wants a girl to be his travel buddy. That's a, a way of telling somebody uh, that you want to fuck him on the low key. Is this retarded? It's Chris Chan. Yes, it's retarded. Why does this dude sound like a robot? That's a Gino Samuel's voice. No clue. I thought for the longest time it was AI. Um, was that a real photo of that Isabella Janky? Anybody that follows the Christery? Was that the real photo of her or is that a fake troll, pro troll profile? The event. Chris told Bella of the danger of coming across Jacob Sockness about Jacob whom Sockness. Joshua Moon or Null. And I Caden do like Jacob Sockness' Twitter. Chris then, in strictest confidence, revealed to her that she had gotten a sex partner who was older than her. <laughs> What's up, Anthony? I have found a romantic partner this half of the universe and earned her trust in everything. We are having sex. She's older than I. That is the only detail I'll share with you for now. Why do I feel that that is foreshadowing what we all know is coming, guys? <laughs> he Chris Chan says they found an, an, a sex par partner that's older. Is that him talking about his mother right here? At around this time, Christine began regularly contacting the Sutras, the young woman on the autism spectrum who had developed an uncontrollable sexual desire for Chris, and they seemingly agreed to meet up Jesus at Christ. Every over text messaging, they initially discussed relationships, with Chris critiquing the sutras over her apparent lack of empathy and consideration, had they been in a hypothetical long-distance relationship. 
She encouraged the sutras to practice her shortcomings with individuals she talked you're, with, such as picking up on... Your Bree Chan, no relation. I was actually going to make a joke about that. I was going to say, hey, are you, are you related to Chris Chan? Because your name says Bree Chan. Subtle cues. The sutras admitted that she was also on the autism spectrum, so Chris inspired her to follow her own example of how she learned to handle empathy and understanding better. Possibly after a couple of days of conversation later, Chris recorded a voice message for her, promising that she would not get angry. Look at that handsome face. Look at that handsome little face. If she saw anything relating to Generation 5 of My Little Pony at the convention. <sighs> I promise, should I ever see anything G5 related at the convention, I, I promise I will not get angry in front of you. And you know what? A lot of people say, <clears throat> a lot of people say that if G5 was never created, that Chris Chan would never melt it down the way he did, right? Bakker says, I'm skeptical because you said that now. You're not very trusting right off. This is the series finale of, uh, of, uh, Chris Chan. It's over. Not Bree, Bry. Okay. Well, I mean, it looks like Bree, but I'll get Bry. I got you. I will withhold my anger. I don't have to feel comfortable around the fact that it's present within that moment, but I will refrain from getting angry. I promise you that. Like, who gets so angry over My Little Pony? Oh, skeptical Chan. Yeah. Well, the creator of Chris Chan of the Chris Chan documentary said this is his last, uh, his last one on it. I think it's just that there's there had because if you look at this, there's not much that has happened between him getting arrested and him coming out of jail. Uh, there hasn't been much news other than him getting spotted at the random Walmart or anything like that. So. Maybe he'll wait a couple years, see if Chris Chan fucks up, and we'll we'll be back. Chris Chan is not dead. <laughs> Chris Chan's not dead. Skeptical of Chan, all right. Damn you, Hasbro. Thank you, Cypher. I appreciate it. What's up, Knucklehead? How you doing, man? Zap to the extreme. And I am very strong. Guys, make sure y'all smash that like. What is that? 30 likes already. Holy and shit. If you're I brand new, hit that sub button, too. Of, oh, boy, what's the word there? I'm trying to remember the word. Uh, well, I have a good sense of Thank self. Thank you, Anthony. And self-control, so... Uh, I can take deep breaths of my own volition. I appreciate that. Huh. You do it's care so about me, It's so wild how they're able to have all these, anyway, like, I'll be voice messages for saved. bed shortly. I'll take a half of melatonin gummy to make it easier to fall asleep tonight. I know that I'm going to be m more effective with the witching hours during the night once again. Even whether I'm asleep or not. Okay. Anyway, thank you. Just thank you. And I love you. I love you. <laughs> On another occasion, Christine sent her a morning greeting message. Good morning. Good morning. We go the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning. The voice of an angel, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, Clue for Prez? What a voice of an angel. It's like, what was it? The quote from Step Brothers? If, if Fergie and Jesus had a baby? Do you do what I could do, what I could do, what I could do, what I could do, do, do. Love you. <laughs> Have a lovely day. The two also had flirtatious video calls over the video chat application FaceTime. <laughs> I want to FaceTime Chris Chan and show him my boobies. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Synth, synth, synth mage Evan Glare says, oh, God, I watched this last night. This is so bad. That's why we enjoy it. That's why we enjoy the Chris Chan. Right, guys? It's a train wreck that we can't stop looking at. Chris later on shared with the sutras a photo of her iPad as she was watching a Watch Mojo YouTube video titled Top 10 Hottest Anime Moms Ever. Top 10 Hottest Anime Moms Ever. On July 14th, Barbara's death. I'll give you guys my top hottest mom in anime. Bulma. Actually, she's tied with Chi Chi too. Chi Chi and Bulma are hot.
I'm just saying. Prepayment case with LVNV funding was finalized, leaving her required to pay back six hundred ninety-two dollars and eighty-two cents. <laughs> He's like his mom. Yeah. Day, yeah, that was a that was a foreshadowing, right, moms? Christine complained on Twitter that the new set of Crayola brand Super Tip markers that she used for drawing slightly differed in shade compared with her older set, asking Crayola to redo the present set of 100 back to their original colorings. <laughs> what kind of a sad life is it that Crayola, like, having to redo present stocks of them so that the colors they should be like before, like, you're a grown-ass man and you're worried about Crayola colors. Tommy, I actually have a playlist already on the channel uh, with all the parts that we've done the recap on. So, yeah, you're able to go and check it out and rewatch or just go to Genial Samuels channel and watch all of it. But, yeah, I have I have the playlist available on my channel. What's up, Lucasaurus Rex? How are you doing? I hope I said that right. Luke Lucasaurus Rex. Thank you for being here. Privately, the WCT and Christine continued to discuss Chris's lady friend. She disclosed more physical features, such as that oh, she was over God. 50 years old, had gray hair, blue eyes, and was shorter than Chris. WCT further inquired about her age, which led Christine to disclose that her lover was in her 70s. WCT commented that the age of the mystery lover was close to that of Christine's mother. Chris claimed that she and her mother had met, and that Barbie approved of her. WCT then shared his conversation with members of the The Knights of Quick Discord That's server. foreshadowing. In response, one member expressed their hope that Chris's love partner was not her own mother, since she had a recorded history of more intimate thoughts about Barbara. Also on that day, Chris disclosed to Null that her friend Bella from the Praetor Group would be accompanying her at Everfree Northwest, calling her a very intelligent and kind individual, sharing with Null her Instagram account for his reference. You literally discovered the game changer for the first time you've been bench watching. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, this Chris Chan stuff is getting weird. I, I am not too familiar with all this stuff, but he's clearly foreshadowing that his partner is his mom when he's saying that it's like a person between the ages of 50 and 70 with gray hair is 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 it because he has these like split personalities like when he thinks that he's magic chan he's not christine chandler anymore and that it's not his mom anymore so that's why he thought it was all right because it's like a a different entity fucking weirdo prince he questioned her supposed profile description of herself being a 45 year old man which christine dismissed as a simple joke revealing that they had played chess with each other online before, but had yet to meet in person. Null deduced from his glancing at her profile that Bella was a troll. Is that a real photo of Bella, by the way? Because they're saying that that was a troll. Is that a real photo, or was that just a photo the troll used? Does anybody know that? Because it's a cute-looking girl. What's up, Jeebers? B. Jefferson, how did he get out of jail? Did they beat the charge, or is it too much autism? It was basically too much tism for jail to handle. Uh, if you look at the case was just dismissed, it was thrown out, and it kind of was hinted that they just thought he was so stupid that he didn't know right from wrong and stuff like that. <laughs> so evidently he, I don't, honestly, doesn't learn his lesson being thrown out like that and being set free. Didn't learn his lesson at all, right? Person, I think he's all the same person, just kind of like make believe and true split. On July 15th, Christine announced on Twitter that one of their family dogs, Snoopy, had passed away in his sleep. She wrote a tweet Poor thread dog. as tribute. Imagine and being Chris Chan's letting dog. Her followers know that she had asked Look, the help of neighbors. Imagine to being that cute little pup, right? Uh, like, like, let's just imagine the life that was chosen for you on this planet is to be this cute dog. And your owner's Chris Chan, and you're stuck in that dirty Chris Chan house. Like that's that's the life that you unfortunately were given to be a hopeless puppy inside of that house. Poor fucking animal. Poor dog. Look how adorable that dog is. Poor dog. Dig a hole in the backyard where they buried him. Chris recalled the first years of their life together, commenting that Snoopy and their other dog, Clover, both liked to play on the mountain of clothes that the Chandlers used to have, before Snoopy fell and injured his leg, 
which affected him for the rest of his life. Upon preparing for the burial, Christine had allegedly witnessed that Snoopy had merged with his supposed anthropological self-counterpart in Dimension C-197 and became a quote-unquote tall dog, dog guy, taller than Patty or Christine herself. She wrote that she was taking a day off from drawing as she was emotionally comforting Barbie and Clover, allowing for some time to recover. On July 17th, Christine wrote a long Twitter thread recounting the history Every of Twitter Bungie thread that Chu Chris and Chan Angelica Rose Chu, eventually disclosing that the two, upon reading suggestions and theories from online fans, had sex utilizing condoms, but their lifestyles did not complement each other, and so they broke up. Also on that day, Chris confided further in Bella and chose to divulge more information about her lady friend, such as that Chris had always felt a deeper vibration and attraction towards her, and that she was in her Yeah, Obama phone, Pro Max 5G. Also, that's a hilarious username. Snoopy Doopy Doo. Yeah, that was his dog's name. Look at these DMs real quick now that we paused. He's uh, hinting. I sense and feel this is a good time to confide with you a bit more about my lady friend. Strictly confidential. This detail remains between you and I. As have I stated, the relationship with my lady was a long time coming, really. I often would see her and talk a bit with her. He was fucking falling in love with his own mother, guys. Fucking gross. What's up, Steven? Deeper vibration, says Tommy. Dude, Chris Chan is fucking weird. In her 70s. In addition, since the partner was well past menopause, Chris explained that there was no risk. She's over 70 years old, but her soul and outer and inner strength remained very strong and vibrant. Of getting her pregnant. She told Bella that her having sex with someone was also apparently a defense mechanism against Sockness, and if confronted by him at the Brony convention, she would quote-unquote truth My bomb My stomach it. is starting to fucking hurt from this, guys. Like, I legit feel, I feel nauseous. Steven says they are so lonely they would date Chris Chan. You should reach out, Steven. Make, make the tweet. Make the DM with the details of her having sex and with whom in a seeming oh god b jefferson oh b jefferson said he used a condom so there's there there's that at least oh god if i had a soundboard i need a soundboard here so i could be like all the real shows what's up game chasers game chaser says this is bs why is this bs game chasers also guys if you haven't liked the stream yet smash that like Tactical incest. Dude, my my uh my stomach is hurting. Loneliness isn't cured by being with someone. I have to have pure stoicism. There's enough documented about Chris Chan for a doctorate dissertation. <laughs> Dude, they should make like a class at a university for Chris Chan, like a Christery. This Justin says Chan 2024. Yeah, so yeah, this guy, uh also hi Billy, how you doing? So Gino Samuel said this is the last one in the series. I bet in a couple years we'll get some more once once more Chris Chan stuff happens. To be honest, he's kind of he's kind of relaxed on fucking up. So we'll see what happens, right? Push one in the chat if you think Chris Chan will eventually do something to fuck up. Effort to What's bring up, down Greg? Jacob's powers, who had expressed his want to sexually possess a sexually inexperienced Christine. Chris also bestowed Bella with the honor of being the only person out. What's up, TB? So this is just catching up on uh, July 2021 stuff, like when he got uh, arrested. So we're we're coming up on the on the good stuff. <laughs> Lucasaurus put a two. <laughs> Outside of Barbara, who would find out What's the up, identity Graves? of her lover <laughs> when the right time came Gaffs. for the information to be revealed. On July 18th, sure do something in response to a again. Twitter user tweeting Chris's signature catchphrase, zapping to the extreme with the hashtag, your signature <laughs> sex move, Chris wrote that she was still working on a signature sex Oh my god! I'm still in development of a signature sex move, but I do like to begin with giving a massage as foreplay. Why isn't Chan ever respond to my tweets? I've tweeted at Chan, I DM Chan, they don't respond to me. He's for sure gonna do something that makes the news again. Oh man, I watched this episode last night. We'll be good to watch it again while you're watching. For the first 
time Billy didn't make an ass comment coming in. Yeah, he's that's that's how pissed Billy is about. Oh, there he goes. Well, never mind. He just asked it, guys. Billy wants to know if there's any ass eating in the chat. Push one in the chat if there's ass eating going on. I thought Billy was so pissed off that he couldn't even ask about ass eating today. What's up, Lubby? Smooth, but did enjoy giving a massage as foreplay. No ass eating without Chan. On the 19th, Chris invited Bella to join WCT's The, the Knights of Quick Discord server. Briefly no recapping for Chan. Bella the drama of the ass Watchmen gold, and vouching me, for the name, character like of ass. WCT. Hey, Billy, there's there's an ass man gold right here in the chat. Everybody, can we can we put a hashtag ass man gold in the chat? And his friends. Christine then also invited the Sutras to the server I like and confirmed with the WCT like that the shit. Sutras and Bella would be accompanying her at the convention, with Bella acting as her protector. Over in the Knights of Quick, Bella chatted with others, defending her very brief partnership with Prater, and claimed that for her own safety she made sure she was 100% anonymous, and claimed to have so-called wired logs and audits in case anyone rides to access or reference her account which was also capable of so-called reverse address engineering. In return for Adress her invitation, Bella then invited Christine, the WCT, and the Sutras to her chess group number 15 Discord server, a new server she had created under the guise of providing an opportunity for Bella's friends to play chess online with each other and casually chat. This is all because the it's Discordian people, guys. This, there's nothing good that ever comes out of Discord. Like, Discordian people are fucking, like, wild. Server also included members of the Texas Tech University Chess Club Discord server, which existed with the impression of it being the official server of the university's chess club. In practice, it was often used by Bella and her friends to criticize, spread rumors about, bully, and harass other students at Texas Tech. The Here, hell? she discussed with one Allen, who was also in the chess group number 15 server, their aspirations. With that said, I do have a Discord group if you guys want to join the 8-Bit Eric Discord group. <laughs> Come hang out there. I want to have a good little hangout and community there. But we don't allow Discordian behavior in that Discord group. All right? No Discordian behavior in the 8-Bit Eric Discord. Operations for trolling Chris, with Bella boasting about her trolling Christine for over a year without anyone being able to find her identity claiming Imagine she had garnered a reputation for being epic and anonymous and a hacker. When Ellen asked her why Chris trusted her the most, Bella said it was because she was extremely nice to her, which was the reason she could allegedly we hack BS, Chris's bank Texas account Tech, to steal her money hey, and get Texas free trips cool. and get her to join a cult. Alan alluded to a supposed previous conversation wherein Bella seemingly had the idea to convince Christine to kill herself, to which Bella confusingly responded with, yeah, but by getting others to tell him they're Jesus and they hate them, and then saying, oh no, those p, -p are us mean, colon open parentheses, and then he pays me. What's up, Fig Mania? This appears to be the only publicized- Exactly, TV. ...dialogue suggesting a supposed ploy to manipulate Chris into committing suicide, which can be perceived as a crude joke with no legitimate commitment behind the comment. Meanwhile, over on Twitter, a user expressed their shock at finding out that there was an active Sonic yes, 2 fan Yes, we're finally base. there, guys. Helena Fiorenza confirmed that there were about 30 legitimate Sonic 2 fans, while Christine replied that there were millions to over a billion people in the Sonic 2 and Rose. She did look mean without the specs, like total rest in bitch face, right? The world has become Demolition Man. Hey, as long as there's still Taco Bells, right? Sonic 2 fan communities. Kristen tweeted that she had noticed the lyrics for the Christian and the Hedgehog Boys theme on the quickie were incorrect, so she posted the correct lyric sheet, asking the site's editors to update the page with the rectified information. On July 22nd, a Reddit user won Tetris a match in the game boy. Tetris 99, and upon completion was revealed the scoreboard and saw that Christine has played against him. What are the odds that you're playing Tetris 99 and you see CWC Sonichu? <laughs> like, what's up, Rando? Is Chance to actively on Twitter? Yeah, um, they are. They are actively on Twitter still to this day. You can actually uh, tweet at them if you want. 
finishing in third place. Christine later on shared her rendition of artist Leonardo da Vinci's famed mural painting, The Last Supper, depicting Jesus Christ and the Twelve Apostles. Null said that she challenged herself and spent the whole day recreating the painting when she was only requested to draw one character. Later on, Maple, the creator of the game Quick Adult Chronicles, which had been in development since 2014, updated to their Twitter following to showcase how Bob would tend to his garden nice. depending on the in-game. Can you play that game? That is that like a Chris Chan fan game? Is that playable online somewhere? So what is this video? This is a, a documentary on Chris Chan. This 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 channel, Gino Samuel 2.1, I think, has literally made a Chris Chan comprehensive documentary. This is part 85. This is the series finale of all of it. In time of the day, with Christian able to fight wild animals in the yard. Christine was alerted to the tweet That's for a Chris response Chan's Twitter and wrote right there, that it could be more accurate, as it felt rather lacking. Meanwhile, Bella revealed to the chess club that a veritable love triangle had formed, with the sutras uncontrollably attracted to Christine, while Christine was more interested in Bella, whereas Bella herself fancied the sutras. Christian Bella shared found. photos of the sutras with the chess club. Give it and time and limited run will be start selling it. What is Chris Chan? Chris Chan is the world's most documented locale on the internet. Google it and you'll go into a rabbit hole. Game Chaser says this is making him a little horny. Join the club. We're all horny here. Push one if you're horny, guys, in the chat. ...that she was cute. Bella then explained that Christine had paid her $500 to buy herself a new camera so she could photograph Chris around the convention, functioning as a photographer in addition to a bodyguard. <coughs> During these days, Bella and the Sutras conversed privately with each other and grew closer. As Christine invited Bella to dance with her in the RFC convention's base the Grand last, Galloping the last Gala, episode. Bella convinced Chris to also invite the Sutras to the dance, because <coughs> Bella only wanted to dance with the Sutras, and privately claimed she wanted to save her from Chris. On July 25th, Christine told Bella that she had discussed with the Sutras the prospect of having sex during their stay at the convention and explained to the sutras that it would only be a one Yeah, that girl had some decent a decent rack on her. I hope she's 18. Time thing in an effort to boost the sutras' confidence and emotional and mental development. Chris reassured Bella that her intercourse with the sutras would not get in the way of their relationship and that Bella was still set to be the only person to find out about Christine's mystery lover. On July 26th, Chris expressed her desire to tell Bella the identity of her partner, but resisted, as she wanted to tell her- Oh dear God, look at all this shit going on. I realize I'm remaining and sounding distant on the question. It will become more clear and obvious when I tell you in person who she is. I actually wish I could tell you over text or voice call, but the government and anyone with the tech can easily hack into these methods. So here comes the reveal. In person. When Bella asked if her partner was a friend of Barbara, Chris answered fairly affirmatively. She then introduced Bella to the messaging app Signal, which is what she used to chat with Noel as it reveal. featured advanced encryption functions. Also on that day, Christine drew President Donald Trump being criticized by Sonichu and herself says, for a paid commission. On July 27th, as Chris was shopping... It's comprehensive. That means it's really detailed. It took a lot. I can't believe there's 85 parts. Shopping at Walmart, she visited the toy section and witnessed some toys that were not to her liking. She recounted to the Knights of Quick. Looking into the toy aisle where the My Little Pony toys were normally, I saw the sign that I was not looking forward to find. A handful of figures of the Magicless Unicorn from G5. Needless to say, I was triggered, but I had known what I was to do in this event. I literally snapped my fingers and these particular figures literally phased out of existence from the store. With that in mind, I opted to check Target as well. I found four figures of the orange G5 pony, and I repeated the G5, process My with Little that pony bunch of really figures. Pisses him off. After seemingly phasing a selection of My Little Pony toys out of existence, she then returned home and recorded a YouTube video expressing her dissatisfaction with the new My Little Pony series. Hello, people of Hasbro in Rhode Island. 
This is Christine Weston Chandler signing you. Your goddess blue heart. Real quick, look to the left of that door. There's literally like holes in the fucking wall. Does Chris Chan punch his bathroom fucking wall? Look at that. There's like some punch marks and shit right there on the wall. In Rutgersville, Virginia. Now, listen here and listen good. I have told y'all, and I've kept it going time and time again, but y'all keep putting it on, putting it on. But my I'm sorry. Billy, Billy's correcting me on the pronouns. It's a she, not he. How bigoted of me, guys. I'm sorry. Generation 5 is canceled. G4, Friendship is Magic, needs its five more seasons. Those holes are from when he was banging barbs. What'd this guy do? Uh, uh, you gotta go back to part like one, man. <laughs> What's up, Melinda? It needs to go on to season 14. Now, this is the last straw. He's because so upset about My Little Pony G5. Of this timeline, you need to get that shit pulled off of shelves and Amazon stores or where. Billy, tweet Chan right now. Who here in the chat thinks Game Chasers should tweet Chris Chan right now, flirting with him? What's up, Raz? What's up, Nomas? What's up, Classic Visual? Push one in the chat if you think Billy should should tweet at Chris Chan right now, being flirty. Billy, tweet a shirtless photo of you looking sexy. Tweet a sexy photo of you looking sexy to Chris Chan right now. And I'll do it too. But you got to do it first. See you later, uh, Bry. Or uh, Lu Lucasaurus Rex. A hundred bucks? Fuck no. I'll just do it then if you're going to be a pussy. But I want everybody that's in this chat. GamerX759 with a $2 super chat. Thank you so much. Says, what did Rich do to Jay? Give me the quick version. My my video was the quick version. How come you didn't go check the video out? <laughs> I appreciate the super chat. Uh, basically, he's just not letting shit go. That's the, the too long didn't read version. All right, I'm going to send a shirtless photo to Chris Chan right now. And then I'm going to link you guys to the tweet. I'm going to link you guys to the cheat, to the tweet. And you guys have to like it, retweet it, gas it up. Thank you, Mike. Hang on, what what should I put? I put hey at CPU Sonichu, whatever. How you doing tonight? Okay. Now what's up, Ruby? Now let me link you guys. <laughs> I'm serious. You guys better. You guys better. Uh, G A M E R X seven hundred fifty nine donated two dollars through super chat. What did Rich do to Jay? Give me the quick version. Thank you for that super chat. Again, he uh he basically just won't let shit go. Thank you, Remedy. What's up, dude? It's good to see you, man. All right, guys, go gas that up. I just posted the tweet. I want you guys to like, retweet, comment, all that. Go gas that up. Gas it up. Gas it up. Go gas it up. This This tweet right here. What's up, Fail Launch Finch? While well, I'm here, appreciate that, Remedy. Thank you for the match uh, yesterday, by the way. 
games as a service it up. So there's the tweet. I want you guys to gas that that tweet up. We already got Ruby on it, Craig Morgan on it, Game Chasers on it. There we go. Thank you, guys. Let's see if we can get a, a response from Chan. You should, TB. It's to Chris Chan. Don't be don't be like that. Real members of the ABE Nation will gas it up. All the dang far away and cancel the freaking G5 series. Make sure it never gets published anywhere and never, He really ever hates G5. Again and make the official cancellation notice public. Tell everybody, I am telling you this truth, warning you. If you continue on and you do not listen to me, Hasbro... And do not resume G5. I mean, you do, you do this not This is too weird. You like me, but I'm really thinking this is teetering on wrong. Um, where have you been, like, the last year or two that I've been watching the Chris Chan videos? It's not teetering wrong. This is, this is, this is literally locale stuff. If you think it's wrong, you're in the wrong place. I think it's wrong. You think it's wrong. Your Twitter goes from three followers to zero. Nah, you'll be all right. Zoom G4, you have to cancel G5. If you don't cancel G5, Thank you, you're going to put this entire timeline in chaos. So I'm giving you this warning to tell you the truth and straight up. Cancel Generation 5 now, Hasbro. Now. Thank you for the retweet. The WCT afterwards reached out to Chris privately over Discord, concerned over her anger, and asked her not to hurt herself. Christine reassured him that she would not hurt herself, and that her rage was not at the design of the characters, but rather the very existence of the Generation 5 series. WCT then asked her about the impact it's been a doozy for the sure. wall of her room that was seen in the video. She admitted that she did indeed punch the wall several times in the past, as a means of practicing breaking through the physical barrier of the Iron Curtain veil that separated Thank you, the Extreme sister Sim TV. Also on July 27th, Chris drew a new picture depicting Appreciate it. Yes, guys. Thank you so much for the for the retweets on that. I want to get a response from Chris Chan, goddammit. I've tweeted them. I've DM'd them. Chris Chan's been ignoring me. If you guys haven't interacted with that, you can retweet. You can like it. This is before prison, Melinda. This is what's leading up to the prison. Multicolor auras of a exactly, of Sam. It could have been avoided. Invisible besides their individual auras. Some of their identities could be further narrowed down by their speech bubbles and the relevant astrological signs contained within their auras. In the foreground and most prominent was Chris Chan Sonichu, accurately labeled as a Pisces, confessing to Magic Chan. By the way, if you Scorpio, guys haven't smashed like yet, we're at 50 freaking likes. Hit that like button. If you're brand new, I think we have a lot of new people in the chat tonight. Push one if this is your first time watching the streams ever. I usually stream Monday through Friday. Uh, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. ish, somewhere around there, Central Time. So if if you guys have never been to a stream before, you can catch me usually 9 p.m. 10 p.m. Central. I don't always watch Chris Chan. Sometimes I watch other stuff, or I react, or I talk, or stuff like that. But we had to watch this today. This is the last part of the Chris Chan stuff. Switch Chris, thank you for becoming an ABE Nation member. I appreciate that, man. If I was 70 ish, she would have. Do you guys think I'm too young for Chris Chan? Tommy Sisson thinks that I'm too young for Chris Chan. Do you guys think I'm too young for Chris Chan? <laughs> oh, Tommy, thank you. 11 months, Tommy. You're almost at the fucking one year mark. Congrats, dude. To the most beautiful out of everyone else. In the bottom right corner, Chris depicted I don't two like Sonic enough for Chan. I'm perfect for Christine. Am I perfect for Christine? Because I'm a pocket bear, guys. I'm a little hairy pocket bear. Autumn possessing breasts, locked in an embrace. The higher figure asked. Oh, shit. I didn't mention that I eat ass. This is Ruby's first time. <laughs> That's funny. Ruby's their been lover, here for a long if their soul time. Their bond and play time. satisfied them with the lower All right, one next replying, tweet I do to Chan, yes, I'll tell him that I eat ass. Thank you. The person at the bottom was labeled a Libra, the correct star sign for Barbara. 
However, if the figure on top meant to depict Christine, oh no, you're good, for whatever right. reason, no she was labeled as a Gemini. Also on that day, a Reddit user and his friend visited the Chandler residence, and Christine greeted them to take selfies, wearing a purple negligee through which her nipples could be seen. Later on July 27th, at around 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Christine messaged Bella over the messaging Here app Signal that she had just finished showering with her supposed spouse, Magichan Sonachu, and would be ready to call her to reveal the identity of her Is mystery lover at 8 p.m. According to Chris, they would end up beginning their video call at 9.30 p.m. EST. Bella would later claim that the two chatted amicably for four hours, covering a wide range of topics. But at one point, according to Bella, Christine told her, Bella, I want you to look me in the eye when I say this. I am having sexual relations with Barbara. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. All 85 motherfucking parts led up to this fucking part right here. Give your so yourselves a round of applesauce. He finally came out and said that he's having sexual relations with his mom. <laughs> this is the this is the live you finally catch. Hey, it's meant to be. Uh dude, we've been waiting for this since part one. Jesus Christ. And yeah, I'm sure it's going to get worse here, so let's go ahead. This is a train wreck that we can't look away from. Why w why would you even tell a woman that? Like, was he was why would he tell a girl this at all? Like a member of the opposite sex, "Hey, I'm having sexual relationship with my mom." Like wh what the fuck was he thinking? Or she, or they, or whatever it is. Bella Lee. Melinda, thank you for gifting a member. Oh, and Fail Launch Finch got it on his first live stream. Wow, thank you, Melinda. Gabriel says that's an autistic flex. <laughs> Barbusi is crazy. Same reason Jared from Subway. Okay, that's fair. You're feeling pr I'm feeling pukey. He's gonna puke. He's gonna puke. He's gonna puke. Maybe Barb is a great lay. Dude, the Barb is this poor woman right here on the left that we see on the screen right now. All right? That poor woman we see on the left right there. She claimed that Chris told her that she and her mother would engage in three-hour-long oh, massage. Oh, God. I feel gross, man. I feel like like when you when you have it here. Like not not when it's coming from your gut, but like when the puke when the puke is just like straight, like somehow it grows in your throat. Sessions while wearing lingerie and that both Barbara and Chris put clips on their nipples during No, this. she's not coherent. She was very outerly and borderline dementia and he fully took advantage of her sex play and experimented with vibrators and stripping hot candle wax on each other. However, due to Bella's known propensity for spreading misinformation online, it is difficult to confirm what acts actually took place. How much of CC is due to genetics and how much is upbringing? It's both, dude. I think 100, like at least 60% upbringing. And then the rest is just him being stupid. Bella is well that's why I keep asking is she is that a real person like is is this confirmed to be the actual Bella or is Bella a fake profile that uses a random girl's photo cuz she's cute <laughs> Get to the chopper you like that Eric Woo This is the girl that Chan said he fucked his mother to Did he think did he think in any form or fashion that this girl would be like, that's fucking hot? Thank you so much for that super chat, uh, Fail Launch Finch. He says, Chan isn't a train wreck, it's a fugitive bus wreck. <laughs> <laughs>
Ranch Finch donated $2 through Super Chat. Thank you for that Shan Super Chat. Shan isn't a train wreck, it's the fugitive bus wreck. Sometime into their conversation, Bella began covertly audio recording their talk with her iPad. Here we go. It is unknown how much of the call was recorded. And as of March 2024, the longest version of the recording is 21 minutes. So anyway, um, everything, the events and everything, and I was feeling like I really needed a sexual release. Mm -hmm. That's my, that's my individuals this side of the island. Yeah, Bri, she uh, basically released audio and stuff to the internet, and then um, it all went out from there and trended. <laughs> and he got arrested. Right. So everything was coming into good alignment, and right. It was the signs were all there. Even the Matthew, even the Matthew, well, you know, God just said said it was okay, and the Matthew said God gets worse at night. God said this is okay. Yeah, then you don't really have anything to worry about. If God Himself said this is fine. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, I gave a lot of stuff for myself. I was like, okay, so I'll take a dive for it. So. Okay, so I'll take a dive for it. Yeah, McLean, they just took everything off, and he that's why he's free. He's free from jail, guys. The, the case and everything got dismissed. Like, they just let him go from jail, like, a year ago. What's up, Saint Reborn? They need an institution for real what the fuck? Yeah, they do. The recording's 21 minutes. Imagine having to listen to him talk that long. I mean... You're not kidding. What's up, Vork? But how did this happen? How did this come about? Well, one which just mainly I was really, really horny and I did. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, among which just mainly I was really, really horny. And I needed a true. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm just laughing at how stupid Chris Chan is. They show an honest uh, relationship. No, I'm starting to feel sick out, too. So obviously, this was one of the best ways to do it, despite it being with the events. I don't want to believe the labels at all, but right. they obviously tell Never trust a big butt and a smile. That girl is poison. Yeah, this is the this the documentary. This is the last episode of the documentary. It's caught up with the uh, this last part's covering the whole infamous gross stuff. I didn't even know there was such a thing. I didn't even know there was incest fanfic. Were there about you and Barbara? I can't believe that. I didn't even think that. I, I knew that you guys had a good relationship, but I always thought, because uh, I'm not huge on Christery and, you know, whatever. I just thought that the whole Sonatry franchise was very interesting, and that's how I um, got into you when I was younger, right? But I had, I, I didn't have any idea that Barbara and you had that sort of relationship. I never got any of those uh, vibes. How did you approach her? I approached her with care and caution. Mm -hmm. it was a time, it was a oh man, he's going into detail. So I just gave her comfort to talk to her, and we just branched out slow and steady. And then I, then I heard, and I heard her positively let her make the first move. She wanted to do it. And she, oh, she did really. She made the first move. Yeah. Oh, oh dear God. Oh, really? Wow, Barbara. <laughs> how how did she do? It, if you don't mind me asking, what was the first move? Uh, I don't remember exactly. Well, that was her first move, but my approach was. I forgot exactly what what terminal what terminal. Synthmage says they're out of alcohol. <laughs> oh man, I I'm legit feeling dizzy. And then they have that photo of the mom in the back right there. Where she looks all creepy. Look at that. You, she's looks. Like all like. And I was most and I was direct and upfront with her for the most part. That's good. And what? How did she respond when you um when you approached her? What'd she say? I don't remember exactly what she said, but it was kind of it was, I think she was partially confused at one point. But 
He thinks she was partially confused at one point, and he still went with it. What? What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? But, but then she came around, obviously, with more approaching, with more approaching than I was uh, doing with her along the way. Right. So she. So she got into it. That lady you're seeing in the background, kiss? that's his you mother. Her? How did that his poor feel? mother, like known this woman modern day poor life? mother. How did that feel? And he's free to roam the fucking earth, just like Three Frames said right now. Oh yeah, I mean it was simple uh, lip, lip lock, lip to lip kiss content, but yeah, it was actually good and it felt right. When did you start having feelings for Barbara? Well, for a long time, I mean, I remember you mentioning some time ago on one of the videos that I even had dreams where I had dreams where I had sex with her. Obviously, really? you had dreams yeah. about his mom. Is that um? I don't know what it is for uh, per se, but is that what Oedipus complex is called? Is when uh um is when yeah. you God like damn. your mother? It is so yeah. hard to fucking realize that Chris Chan's a real person. It's hard to tell when Chris is just really stupid and ignorant or when he knows better and is just using his autism. Exactly. It's really tough. Craig needs a drink and a blunt. Yeah, but yeah that's right. The Oedipus. Oh, Oedipus. That's right. Yeah. How, how, if you don't mind me asking, I know that's probably personal. You have to answer, but how is the sex? Chris Chan. It all started when I was a baby and I was breastfed. <laughs> Chan needs to go to a loony bin. By the way, guys, I, uh, Gas that up. Gas that tweet up. Uh, if you haven't yet. That's the tweet from earlier. Took to, it took a few tries. Yeah. yeah. She is a, she's and older. Plus, and plus, uh, also, she's very understanding about the whole thing as well. I was direct with her. Still direct and honest with her. I made sure that I... Yeah, obviously, I'm never going to propose marriage to her at all because we're already daughter and mom. Yeah, and mother and daughter. <laughs> mother and daughter. Um, I'm very, I'm glad that you're telling me because a lot of people would hold us inside and it would tear them apart, you know. But then again, Dude, she's, your she's body a now fucking certified isn't it only fucking like a projection troll. of your true form? Aren't you from like, you're from like another dimension, right? You're a Sonichu. Yeah. Well, not really a projection because this body is interdimensional. Yeah, it's interdimensional. How long have you two been going at it? Well, we've been uh, doing it every third night. First night, you know, June 27th. Oh, you've a routine. Yeah, it took us a few nights to figure figure out what felt right and what didn't feel right. And Does your mother enjoy it? Bri Chan said this is too much. They're tempted to change their name, so no one thinks I'm even part of this. <sighs> I'm sorry that you put Chan in your username. I'm not blaming you for that, though, Bri Chan. It's a tough point for me. You helped a kid whose parents unloaded him onto a community college. He have any business being in and totally fabricating the most intricate. What interdimensional? I'm Link. Zelda is my girlfriend. Is there medicine strong enough? To Dude, he, he believes it's... um. He believes that there's an interdimensional merge coming and that he's like Jesus Christ, like legitimate. Like, look up the Chris Chan stuff if you guys haven't seen it. Bree Chan, Bry Chan, <laughs> Bryson Weston Chandler. No, it's Brian. His name's Brian. Bry Chan. <laughs> Guys, Bry Chan is not related to Chris Chan, all right? Just just clarifying for all you guys. Bry Chan's not related to Chris Chan. Yeah, she's having, yeah, she's having a good time. Literally. She is? She's having a good time? Especially when we, when we figure it out. That's good to hear. Do you guys act more like brother and daughter, or do you guys act more like, you know, lovers? When, like, say you come home from, you know, the supermarket and you see Barbara, uh, would you say, hey, sweetheart, or do you say, hi, mom? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I haven't called her mom in quite some time now. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm more of a calling her love at this point. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. I mean, there's but nothing wrong recently... with being sweet to your mother, right? But, Taking it sexually is a whole other avenue. Fucking poor woman, dude. Started dating, isn't that that's true, right? You know, Wouldn't it be wild if the interdimensional merge really happened? 
The religions out there in Christian, dude, that would be wild if Chris Chan got it right. There's a wild stuff here. I feel like I'm watching the movie Sleepwalkers. I haven't seen that. DSP's a sad story, though. He's a goof. I actually feel bad for him. Dude, see, the thing with DSP, though, is he's not this level of fucking, fucking weird, right? Relationship? <laughs> yeah, between Barbara and I, it is no good relationship. I made that very clear with her. Right. Do you guys go on any dates or anything romantic like that? <laughs> mm, well, probably not anything as extravagant, but we do, uh, as often as possible, we have the dinner table together. Mitch, I agree. Yeah. Knowing, knowing you, Christine, I think that uh, because you, I understand that she's mature, you know, and she's mature and she's wise. She's wise in her ways. Um, you know, she has experience and she loves you and you two have a great relationship, but wouldn't you want somebody who's younger, right? And you keep up more with your obviously. energy? Yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously, but yeah, obviously if I can find some, obviously some. There's uh, very interested in you. She's a super girl. Yeah. I have foreseen. I know she's got a South Park her, ending? Yeah, that is a South Park sweetheart. ending. Are you sure? Yeah. Because <laughs> talks to me saying how great you are and how much she loves you, right? Maybe because the uh, future so can think, change, right? With fate? Um, it's a possibility, but... It's Why don't you like try it. for her? Because... <laughs> cause I'm the brought out woman is the sutress. Who's the... um. The person that he's interested in, kind of, I guess. The sutress. Somebody that supposedly is in love with him. Um, they don't ever identify who it is. They just blur the name and the face and say the sutress. You can have a bad day and then there's this. <laughs> Open relationship, right? I'm sure she's. you're fine with uh, both of them now. But over time, right? really 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 adores you and she's a wonderful girl i text her a lot we chat bella sounds she has drunk. never said a single negative thing about you she she adores you like and but she'll be more open to doing stuff like you know having spa days getting pizza going out together you know and she's um she's probably newer in the bedroom but she's um she's willing to do it she's willing to have fun with you Yes, I agree, and I appreciate all that. Yeah, I'm making the, What's uh, up, Adam? Short time as, short What's time up, Kyle? Yes, Chris Chan banged his mom, and that's why he went to jail. The documentary finally caught up to this. I can't with her. Oh, I understand. But how are you feeling, Christine? Because I know there's a lot of societal pressure on you about, like, um, this thing with Barbara. A lot of societal pressure and a lot of people, you know, consciously who judge, like who would judge, and you know, there's a lot of eyes on you. It must be very stressful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm so yeah, sorry I'm about really all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, she's got really the the G spot because apparently I don't. They're talking about her G-spot. They are literally talking about his mother's G-spot. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh... He even talks about his dad. I don't believe that even Mr. C, any of her past boyfriends, ex-husbands, they really haven't reached and hit her G-spot really with their... Oh, my God. Oh. Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, Friday, right? <laughs> You like they that, Eric? Woo! Really reached hit her G spot really right. Fixed. right. Oh, okay. So yours is a bit bigger.
After Thank the God call that call's concluded, over. Bella excitedly informed members of the chess club about Chris's Thank you, Jimmy Fly. I appreciate with her that. Barbara. Thank you, everybody who's a first timer. You've come to the perfect first time stream. The end of the Chris Chan saga. Remedy says the legal system failed to say they definitely did. And uh the education system failed Chris Chan. They could have they could have prevented this if they diagnosed his ass right. But remember the first counselor was like, I don't see any, you know, mental you know, mental mental challenge or mental whatever the fuck. They didn't see any kind of thing to diagnose him with. They they fucking they could have avoided all that. What's up, Chris, for main food reviews? This man is in love with Chris Chan. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> no, I'm not. It's just a it's just a rabbit hole and a train wreck that you can't you can't stop looking at. And shared an edit of the recording with them. She plans to leak the call at a later point, but in the meantime, she schemed to create evidence concerning the recording to keep herself anonymous. On July 28th, How can she you not be, says Ace Dallas. What's up, Ace Dallas? Who asked Bella to convince Chris to break up with her mother so Chris could instead have a relationship with the Sutras. The Sutras thought Boat that Christine says should go to jail for what Chris she did, but nevertheless still wanted to have sex with her at the convention. Also on the 28th, Chris wrote a long string of God, messages to Bella woman, recounting her freshly concluded sexual dalliance with her mother of that day. You saw my tweet to Chris. Yes, everybody. I tweeted a shirtless picture to... To Chris Chan, if you guys want to gas it up, I want to try to like do a get a response. So, yes, Barb and I <laughs> just had another romp in the hay and an extensive cuddle. Oh my god! Tonight, I started looking into a more consistent pattern to my massaging, and I took the input and focused on getting blood flow into the groin area. Before tonight, I did not really have a set pattern in the massage, aside from feet and legs, followed by hands and arms, the face, front torso and then a roll over for her back. I have found a more consistent method that works between the legs and the arms, but I was inconsistent in the hands and feet. His mom. Anyway, also made another attempt at rubbing her vagina, oh. externally at first, then slipping in between the lips and rubbing the inner labia. Then she told me to stop. She told them to stop. She's getting more used to being played with down there by hand. Would you believe she has literally never ever masturbated in her entire life? And obviously those out of the eight guys, counting Robert Chu, before me were not hitting her G-spot as much with their cocks. I had attempted the first night to rub her, but alternatively, I did find that at Cunnilingus, I was good at it with my tongue, and I did also stimulate her clit. That does not seem to hurt her as much, but she still has a limit with that spot as well. Anyway, we're making progress. They're making progress on him touching his clit or her clit. At least it's the fucking Gino Samuel dude talking and not Chris Chan's voice. Like, imagine Chris Chan actually saying all this shit. And when we cuddle, and this actually impresses me more, I literally feel our souls bonding and coming together as one during that time. Damn, it feels so good when that happens. And we talk a good way. Every episode only gets worse? Well, thankfully, this is the last episode. <laughs> while as well before she heads back upstairs i have been sending her meditation tracks to stimulate her brain and bring back some of her youth and the results do show most splendidly i am so proud of her and from her stories she told me tonight you'd rather hear dsp on helium whispering sweet nothings into my ear <laughs> this is how dsp whispering sweet nothings to people's ears would sound like <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, I, I need the money to pay my bills. Why am I toxic? A penne? Delicious to eat? Easy to eat? Wow. Snort? I don't even know. That's a horrible... That's a horrible DSP. My favorite quote is, Why am I toxic? <laughs> Chan did not die. 
this documentary is only going to when he got uh, arrested because since he's come out of uh, because he's he, he since he's come out of jail, he's uh he's kind of been on the low radar other than being seen at um at Walmart. So he hasn't done anything noteworthy. Not EDP. No cupcakes here. Get that ass banned. Isn't that low tier god? She even remembered a fun story that involved her daddy. This is sweet nothings. All right, guys. So I'm gonna need some sweet nothings membership support. We haven't made our goal. Do you want me to put on my wig and my vest? We're gonna have a marathon, a sweet nothings marathon. <laughs> From when she was two years old, two years old. Sound keeps going out because I'm pausing it. At her right? age is this is me pausing it and talking. Massively good. She has had memory problems at time beforehand, yes, but she is better stimulated What's in up, her Kyle? mind and soul. And it really shows her mental processing speed is even going back up. She feels this. Finally... Yeah, they got handlers so now. Herself. And, and he was I'm supposedly so seen with a female, too. That I'm able to help her out like this. And it helps me as well because of the experience and the education. He's saying this is helping him get experience and education with touching girls. And learning. What's up, Julie B? These were also shared with the sutras by Bella. On July 29th, Chris messaged Bella, telling her that she and the sutras were discussing what kind of music they could be playing as they were having sex at the convention, oh my God. with the sutras noting that she liked alternative music. Later on, the sutras shared the news of the incest with members of Chris Chan focused Discord server. Chris Chan Conservation Chris Collective Chan panel and then leaked to member Gunloader420, a four minute long edit of the nine minute edit of the call she had received from Bella, which removed Bella's voice and all personal details pertaining to herself. The sutras then leaked the nine minute edit to Discord user Lavender Bones. Toward the end of the day, Gunloader420, known as L Dude Rocks on YouTube, uploaded the four minute edit onto the site, and within the first hour of July 30th, Shared it on the Christian Sonichu subreddit on the site Reddit. Jesus. <laughs> God damn. Julie B. Guys, don't Julie, Julie. <laughs> At 1.32 a.m. EST, the sutras leaked screenshots of the post-sex text that, fucking that Chris had sent to Bella. A Chris furious Chan. debate regarding the veracity of the recording and texts erupted on the likes of the Chris Chan subreddit and Kiwi Farms. Many assumed that the audio was a result of taking Chris's recorded. Julie B. Julie is a reference to something that happened in Chris Chan's history where he basically yelled out, Julie, and it's like, it's, don't Google it. <laughs> What's up, Domain GPCE? Oh, dude, uh, Chris Chan's been live streaming a lot recently, and they're, they're making some fucking good viewers and donos off of their streams. It's conversation snippets out of context and rearranging them to make it appear as if Christine was talking about having sex with Barbara, especially considering that the party she was conversing Appreciate with had it, been domain. completely removed from the YouTube upload. What's up, McCoy? However, a few hours after the initial leak, the nine-minute yes. version of the conversation shared by Bella with the sutras, who then shared it with Discord member Lavender Bones, was also uploaded onto YouTube, which contained Bella's side of the conversation who was at this point still an unknown party to all Christian observers. This initially pissed off Bella, as the sutras shared her voice without permission. At around 8.35 a.m., quick-centric YouTuber Dylan Thomas shared with Christine the leaked audio, asking for an explanation. She verbosely wrote about overcoming drama and bad vibrations, resisting to answer if the allegations were true. Dylan pried for an answer, as he would be called on to speak on the topic in a future video. Kristen admitted that the allegation was true, and asked Dylan to not screen cap or share their conversation. Dylan agreed not to screen cap it. Oh man. He soon after shared screen caps of their conversation with his audience. Still in the morning, Christine posted her tarot card of the day, titled, Turning In, reflecting that there was drama in the air that day and so encouraged everyone to withdraw from gossips, rumors, and whatever else that may come their way. 
by this point. If you guess into discussing things about Bella, you're definitely were causing out. A stir back in black, I hit the sack. I've been gone too long. I've got to be back. What's up, Julie B? Thank you for the channel membership. Thank you, Julie B. Can I get a hashtag Julie B, not Julie? Hashtag Julie B becoming a member. If you guys aren't an ABE Nation member, I do have memberships. There's a join button. We're going to have exclusive streams, exclusive Q&As, exclusive content, food reviews, weird stuff. We're going to have all sorts of channel members. You can even gift channel memberships if you guys want, if you feel inclined. It's all, it's all uh, you know, optional. We're, you know, we're just trying to get a little, get a little, you know, community going. But yeah, subscribe. Also, subscribe if you're brand new, by the way. Phil Cernell. Could y'all imagine if DSP actually came into the stream one day and just started, like, talking shit? <laughs> like, like, he's like, fuck you, 8-Bit Eric. Uh, DSP Gaming has me blocked, by the way, for, like, the last decade. <laughs> During the terms, Chris Chan and... Chris Chan did what to trend on the site, briefly overtaking the trending topics representing the international multi-sport event, the Olympic Games, that were at the time taking place in Tokyo, Japan. Null then Chris asked Chan's her directly Greek about the situation. This point. You're not kidding Christine on that. complained that she had told that to Bella in the strictest confidence and had asked her not to share it with anyone else. Has Rich came here to attack me? No, he has not. The only thing that he's ever done is plays blame on me on one of his live streams saying that I was the one that leaked the stuff on his Facebook page, which I wasn't. Um, and that's it. He unfollowed me. He'll probably, he unfriended me as well on Facebook. He'll probably block me soon. What's up, Ash Ketchum? It's weird. He, he, he makes videos about people and gives his opinion on people, but the second that you do it to him, he unfriends and unfollows and goes ape shit. Like, he doesn't want anybody talking about him, but his channel literally lives and breathes about talking on people. So, how's that work? Null asked if Bella was her elderly girlfriend, with Chris clarifying that it was That's Instagram funny, user Fail and Prater member, 10th Anonymous. Null chided I, that I he did had DM told Chris, Chris Chan Bella one was time, a troll the first trying to time get, he was shown her Instagram account. Over on the QB farms, Null suggested that Christine was in fact lying about having sex with Barbara in an effort to cover up the apparently embarrassing fact that she was having sex oh, thank you for watching, G McFly. with an elderly girlfriend. He then shared this information with the QB farms in a dedicated thread, stating that the only other person who had known about it was a certain Bella, a supposed troll persona. Null then asked Chris directly if the allegation was true. Look how dirty that fucking medallion is. Right over here on the bottom right corner. Fucking gross. Chris responded, Yes, it is true. The sex was consensual with Barbara. What's up, Satsu? Meanwhile, <laughs> in private messages to the sutras, Bella expressed her excitement and joy because, in her words, they broke the internet. The sutras on the other oh, hand yeah, man, definitely and anxious since her aim was not to be able Chris, to let go of things. Which now seemed unlikely. She said she was scared, possibly of having her He's identity up found his ass out, before, with Bella reassuring her that she would protect the sutras because she was anonymous and that the two were, quote-unquote, the best trolls in history. Why does the narrator sound like Dr. Horror? I've always thought it was, uh, I always thought it was funny, uh, he sounds like AI, right? Like, it doesn't even sound like a real human being. It just sounds like an AI robot. You wonder how it got dirty. Chris Chan put it up his ass, guys. They also planned to contact Null in order to convince him. Of That's not the medallion that was up his butt. The, the OG medallion was up his butt, and then it was broke. They, they took it and, like, broke it or something like that. Falsified information to keep themselves anonymous. Meanwhile, Maker Night V, Your friend after met a Chris month Chan of no contact, con true, expressed shock reek. at the news, asking Chris if she was actually having sex with her mother. Chris is not believed to have responded. Wow, Megan wrote him talk about a blast from the past sometime after 1 p.m on july 30th in response here we to go questionably significant flurry of concerned callers green county police arrived at the chandler house for a welfare check to confirm the well-being of the residents the exact details of their examination are unknown but as a result of their visit barbara was taken to a hospital to have her mental and physical condition thoroughly checked and thank god they 
made a welfare check happen. What's up, T Tiller? How's Chris it going? Chris was served with an emergency protective order, or EPO, meaning that she was not allowed to come within 300 feet of her mother or the house, which was under Barbara's name. The EPO was set to last until August 5th. If the incest was true, Christine would have committed either a misdemeanor or a class 5 Definitely felony in the state woman. of Virginia, depending on the case, which, if convicted, would lead her to serve 1 to 10 years in prison. At the time, it was unknown whether she could also be potentially charged with rape, as Barbara's uncertain mental state could have made her unable to give consent. After Chris vacated the premises, woman, she dude. drove the family van to the house of her Aunt Harriet. More like 300 miles. Yeah, it needs to be where he could never see her again. Honestly. And then you know what's fucked up? After Chris Chan got released from prison, their car was spotted back at the house. So I hope Barbara is not there. Like, I hope Barbara is long gone. I hope she's somewhere else. I hope she's in good hands. I hope she's not being <laughs> anywhere near Chris. What's up, Bubster? And Uncle Tom, hoping to find refuge. They were not at home at the time, so she waited in the car. During this moment, the WCT reached out to her, asking to find out more information. Chris regaled him with her tales of turmoil regarding her troubles to find housing for a week and also her low funds to sustain herself. WCT. See, that's the thing. We don't know if the mom was there, but at, like, I guess like almost a year and a half, two years later after, you know, he was in jail, he it showed his stuff back. I made a video talking about it. I hope she's not there. He then asked about the call and Chris confirmed that it was a video call she had with Bella. She then posited that the recording was leaked by either her roommate or an unnamed 42-year-old male accomplice, a theory posed to Christine by Bella to assuage guilt. WCT then directly asked her if the allegation of her having sex with her mother was true. Christine simply answered, yes. Jesus Christ, really? Just honest, like, out like that. <laughs> What's up, Maxim? When asked why would she do this, Chris wrote that the love and affection between them was genuine and that Barbara had made the choice to make the first sexual move in sound mind, body, and soul. WCT reminded her that incest was wrong and that she could be found guilty of a felony, but Christine My said same feeling, she, faith, she would return to the house safely and without judgment. WCT asked about her knowledge of the sutras who was alluded to in the call, and Chris confirmed it was the 19-year-old who was to accompany her at the convention. When the WCT asked her about a certain Discord user who had originally leaked the call, Christine suggested that the account possibly belonged to Bella's 42-year-old male accomplice. When it Can't wait for the Review Tech USA Mike Klum documentary. That's inevitable. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely coming the way he's trending. He's trying really hard to get on the Locale podcast. College roommate had your magazine covers literally covered an entire room of <laughs> Maxim magazine. What's up, Jay's private stash? Yeah, he's disgusting. Where's Noel with all this happening? He did help Chris several times. No clue. Chris isn't human. He's an eldritch creature from another plane of reality. Yeah. Dude, the mod's mental state does definitely make this disturbing. In fact, it belonged to the sutras, and neither Chris nor WCT knew it. WCT was instructed to delete the messages concerning her confessions of incest, but he managed to screenshot them before he did so. Chris then returned one last time to the The Knights of Quick Discord server to post her PayPal account, asking its members for donations of preferably over $100 for accommodation. Soon after, to another Discord user, the WCT boasted that he would be featured in the Chris Chan A Comprehensive History YouTube series as one of the final protagonists, <laughs> seemingly presenting this as fact without prompt or added context. After sharing the recent information hey, with that's the a pretty good drawing. Quick, WCT learned from Anaxis and others that the original Discord leaker of the recording was indeed the Sutras. By the way guys, I appreciate all of you guys being here, honestly. Fantastic fucking stream. Good attendance. I appreciate it. If this is your first time here, can you hit one in the chat? Let me know, and I'd like to say hi. I know some of you guys might be lurking. Don't forget to smash the like either. We're at 77. If we could hit 100, that'd be fucking fantastic. And subscribe if you're brand new. Like, 
I'm trying to get to 100K subscribers. So appreciate it. Appreciate all the help, guys. He then direct message Thank Bella, you, Switch asking Rich. her to explain herself. What's up, chicken herself. wings? She continually placed the blame on one's Avery Oswald. Appreciate it. We got Tiller's Archive Collection. Adam, it says second. Frank Castle, you've been here. Knucklehead, you've been here. Malvor, you've been here. Charlotte, what's up? He's a result of an untreated disability mixed with an unstable childhood. June the King, Mike Klum, and Turkey Tom Review Tech. Dude, Turkey Tom Review Tech USA stream, uh, documentary would be great. Thank you, Charlie. I appreciate that. Thank you, Psychotic Assault. Bry Chan. Sam, you, I mean, uh, Just Craig, you've been here. That is the Malvor. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni. Yeah, Billy, Game Chasers want you guys to stop calling him Malvor the Great. And Tenery Merck. Two unrelated figures it's fine, who, according Captain, to her, I appreciate you, buddy. Chris's internet service provider and had hacked Chris's modem and leaked a Thank call. Thank you, McFly. Bella Hello, McFly. Their motives smash for the like button like Chris Chris's can't smash their PS... Dude, that PS3 system was fucking weird. ...modem and insisted that WCT disavow her for committing the crime. The two chicken names wing, she had given wing, belonged to a bologna, member of the chess club and, and the student of Texas Tech University, neither of whom had any involvement in the affair. After these direct messages, the WCT created the Discord server regarding Chris and invited Bella and select trusted members of the Knights of Quick, who would interrogate her in an attempt to get to the truth. She kept laying the blame on Avery Oswald and Tenery Merck, and when shown a photo of the sutras to confirm if it was the same woman being talked about in the recording, Bella denied it and claimed that the woman mentioned Discordian in the call was behavior a girl by all the these guys. Bella further spread lies by stating Christine would restrict Barbara from eating unless she performed fellatio on Chris, and that Chris would cause her mother Think to McFly. scream in pain from being penetrated simultaneously by three vibrators. Bella also began spreading the rumor that the two experimented with bondage play. She then changed her story and tried to convince the others that it was the sutress' voice in the call recording, and not her own, going against what Chris had revealed to both Null and WCT. Bella then asked the others if anyone knew Gino Samuel. For Damn, she's trying to get out of the dock. Look at this. The girl that was the big troll and trying to get all the fucking Chris Chan juice out when it when the tables are getting turned tabled on her and they're wanting to put <laughs> they're wanting to put stuff about them in the documentary and crap. They're they're scared, right? They don't want to be exposed. That's typical troll behavior. Or she wished to be excluded from the Christian, a comprehensive history documentary series. The well, guess what? She's not discluded from it. She's in it. <laughs> UCT replied that he knew the YouTuber and would inform him of the situation. Meanwhile, when exactly asked about Christine, idiot. organizers of the Everfree Northwest convention stated that their policy was to ensure the safety and comfort for all attendees, refraining from referring to Chris directly, as was against their policy. Chris later confirmed to the Knights of Quick that she did indeed How the get turn silently blacklisted turned. from the convention and her pass revoked. In addition, when Christine's Aunt Harriet and Uncle Tom learned of her situation, they allegedly told the police that she was not allowed to come to their house. Chris thus took Null's advice and spent that night in the back of her van. Null also privately criticized yeah, Chris further for it's continuing to chat casually with Bella after confessing a crime to her, which resulted in Chris getting kicked out of her own house. She's smidge worse than Chris Chan, if only because she's a danger to the public as a whole. What's up, Tommy Markle? How you been, man? Yeah, Retropalooza Houston, guys. If you're looking for a convention, I'll be at Retropalooza Houston, I think, Memorial Day weekend in May. Uh, it's a Saturday, Sunday event in Pasadena, Texas. Uh, just look up RetropaloozaHouston.com. I'll be there. Tommy will be there, too. Those are just people with bad mental health and should got help years ago to avoid all this. House ...with the looming possibility of criminal charges being pressed. Christine replied yeah, that she was spiritually this. guided and sound of mind. Null responded. So at one point, this documentary was happening in real time. This documentary was happening in real time. And then... When Chan was locked up, it stopped. I really don't think you will ever get it. It's probably too late now, anyways. That night, 
Kerr slept for a total of an hour and a half. On July 31st, 38 minutes past midnight, Null received a notification from Chris's email account to which he had access, noting that Christine had... You're out in the desert by El Paso. Um, I think that's about eight almost. Your public... My YouTube crush, you can give hugs, but not for you to... Okay. Hugs are fine. <laughs> seemingly been sent $750 to her bank account. Hi, Barbara Bella. Chandler's welcome. Join account. in and tell your side. If Bella is as crazy as I'm being led to believe with killing hamsters and doing all this other fucking weird trolley shit, I, I, I'm going to, other than her nice rack, I want nothing to do with Bella. At around 6 in the morning, Null asked Chris if she had asked her mother to send money, concerned that that was probably in violation of the emergency protective order. Chris denied contacting her. When further prodded, she wrote that Barbara did not send her any money and had instead found some extra funds in minimal abundance. Null then shared a screenshot of the email Chris's account received, asking her if she had access to Barbara's bank account. Christine wrote that she did have control over her bank account, Turkey writing Tom that did the $750 was that withdrawn up. to herself for an emergency, and that she would return. Wow, Chris Chan took $750 from, Chris, from his mom's bank account when he had a fucking restraint order on her, basically. Did she kill a hamster by putting it up Chris's ass? No. Could you imagine that? Turn it once she got another payment from an unmentioned source of $1,000 in her account. Null confirmed for himself that this constituted as stealing from the alleged abused party, which violated the insane. EPO, and then blocked Christine and notified Don't relevant only authorities. Use me blade rabbit hole. He I'll look into on that. Farms that he was done helping Chris once and for all. Later on, Christine told the WCT over Discord that she had found herself a hotel to stay at for $56 per night. WCT agreed with yeah, I checked a little bit of the gamer from our stuff when he went to the house too and, much. Uh, interviewed. Kristen complained that the hotel became a necessity since Aunt Harriet and Uncle Tom, apparently the only relatives who could have helped her, became frightened by her and had refused to assist her. In addition, she revealed the police were yet to bring Barbara back home as she was still being kept at the UVA hospital. Chris claimed to have left for hospital staff a scary voicemail message since her mother had to go back home to tend to their dog, Clover, and a bunch of cats and kittens. She later confirmed that their animals were brought to the care of neighbors for the time being. The WCT told her that if she were to be confronted by the authorities, she should cooperate with them. Twitter, Reddit, and other internet communities continued to discuss the Chris Chan, Chris Chan incest trending. situation, Number three. with game creator Edmund McMillan taking notice, revealing to his fans that he planned to replace the artwork Chris had made for his The Binding of Isaac for Souls card game. The Turkey Tom documentary is still up. I'll have to check that out one day. Page to tell donors that Christine had confessed to a then yet unknown party of aggressive sexual. What's up, Keeb? You feel like trolling him? <laughs> behavior towards her mother and was served with a week-long EPO. Since convention organizers revoked her ticket, Null wrote to her donors that the fundraiser no longer served a legitimate purpose and made the decision to refund all donators. He expressed his initial satisfaction with her work ethic at fulfilling commissions, leading him to believe she would be able to sustain herself solely from her work. But the incest revelation left him questioning that scheme. He expressed further his thoughts yeah, on the subject human. on his he's live stream show, there. Mad at the Internet. So both of them, technically, if this is true, could go to jail for a year, right? So that's problem A for Chris. Problem B is that a lot of what I would have in mind for him, if he was willing to do the work that I give him, if I set up like a thing where people could buy commissions and shout outs from him and have that as a sustainable way for him to stay out of homelessness after Barb dies. But Chris, I know, has $40,000 in unsecured consumer debt. I know that the house has, at different times, had two mortgages on it. Uh, so that's a fucking issue. If she How does he know the financials? She dies, and this mortgage is untenable. She has two mortgages, and it's like, okay, well, you have to declare bankruptcy, and you're going to be homeless now, Chris. Sorry. Like, So my, my plan was set up this thing right where chris can make money doing things that people are willing to pay him for very obviously willing to pay him hundreds of dollars for shout outs for podcasts i don't get it why is he helping and why is this guy helping chris chan 
question is, is mother alive? Yep, she is alive, but we don't know anything about her whereabouts or where she's at or who she's with at this time. ...for drawings, for different commissions. Like They are very willing to throw money at Chris for these, these novelties. That's jeopardized if he's a motherfucker, <laughs> right? I mean, here's, in my head, the way I see this, I just imagine like a mugshot of Chris with like... Are we going to find a new hole after Chris this? Oof, the term hole with his mom involved kind of made my stomach growl. Uh, maybe eventually, yeah. Dean Weston Chandler Sonichu is like the inmate name, and then below it it says crime, and then it says like incest. Praying that she's and I just imagine that up. mugshot yeah, sure. picture being shared on like social media by normies. Like, no matter what happens, I'm going to continue to set that off. The only way that I will completely like say, no, Chris, I'm not going to help you anymore, is if he doesn't do what I asked him to do. In his defense, I've never asked him not to fuck his mother, so he hasn't betrayed my trust in that concept. Uh, but I will make it clear to him that he should know he should not fuck his mother, and if he has fucked his mother, he Jesus should no longer Christ. fuck his mother. Yeah, you should know not to fuck your mother. What's up, Stony Brew? This is the Chris Chan rabbit hole, all right? This is the end of the Chris Chan mother. stuff. I will lay that out on the table crystal fucking clear, and if there's any more mother fornication happening, I, I will have to distance myself from It's like, hey, you can't fuck your mom anymore. If you do, then I'll distance myself. Not a, not a, you know, <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Now, yeah, they, they didn't press charges on him after all. He got set free, and there was no proven guiltiness of it, but still, you saw all the weird fucked up shit that they wrote. I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. Chris, at this point, I will leave it up to the imagination. Of I keep hearing about King Cobra. I've, I, I need to look into that. Like almost every stream that I've had, people ask me if I know anything about the King Cobra stuff. Of you, the audience, the, the people listening to this on the inevitable Geno Samuel documentary, episode 246, that, that this will be featured in. It, it it's 85, not 246. They actually joke. believe that Chris fucked his mother. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. All the while in the Regarding Chris Discord server, Bella continued to spread misinformation to her interviewers by oh showcasing God. to them fabricated screenshots of texts Chris had allegedly sent her, which concerned tying Barbara. Cobra's not good if you've recently eaten anything. Watch on an empty stomach. Ooh, that does not sound good, guys. <laughs> ...up with rope and penetrating her, which made her neigh like a horse. As other members of the chat he expressed their shock like and disgust, Bella encouraged the WCT to share the screen caps in the dedicated thread on QB Farms for updates regarding the incest revelation. After WCT did so, numerous forum members doubted the validity of the texts and asked for a source. WCT told Inquisitors that the source was reliable, sharing a few of Bella's Discord Cobra messages with hacks. her profile censored. Over Discord, Bella told WCT that uh, being in quotations marks has me a little worried. CT that the Sutras also possessed the screenshot. Court system failed. They didn't want to deal with this motherfucker, so they let him go. That is honestly what it seems like. Uh, they were like, this guy's fucking retarded. Those food hacks are for, those food hacks are my reason for warning you. You must up hamburger helper. <laughs> and to satisfy her request of remaining anonymous, the WCT returned to the farms to write that it was actually the Sutras who was the source of the texts, revealing her first name and sharing a video of her dancing while wearing a red striped shirt and a Sonichu medallion. Bella then joined the thread discussion herself with her 10 Anon account, falsely telling I others that Cobra, Bella was so her pseudonym and it. that she was actually a man. She also insulted anyone who questioned the leaked texts, emphasizing that Chris was a horrible person. Bella proceeded to gain access to the QB Farms account of chess club member Lewis, who went by the account name Ternary Mercury, and used it to repost and validate the falsified text messages. Farms users largely did not believe the new account and assumed that Ternary Mercury and Ten Anon were the same person. The thread discussing the incest was then temporarily locked due to the spread of misinformation and arguments.
it was reopened after null banned 10 Anon. Kiwi Farms image analyst later confirmed the bondage text to have been faked. Boglin Chronicles. By the end of that day, many Christian followers, such as Righteous for Quick and Helena G. Fiorenza, expressed their shock at the news on Twitter, with some, like Helena, seemingly completely severing their connection to Chris. Casual bystanders also argued whether one should refer to Christine as a male rather than a female. See, I don't remember the heinous Twitter when this was done. going down. Over on Reddit, Jacob Sockness wrote that you he would Chris not help Chris. You hope Chris Chan watches Fred. this episode. Yeah, they. I'm pretty sure Chris Chan follows the documentaries. And upon learning of what's transpired, was glad that he had cancelled his plans to move to Charlottesville, since he thought he would have been used by Barbara as a sex toy. Numerous online articles were also published, briefly going over Chris Chan's history and presenting the current- I don't think I made a video about Chris Chan being arrested. I think I made one about Chris Chan uh, being freed from jail. I don't think I made one about him getting arrested. In ...situation as Christine raping her elderly mother who suffered with dementia. As scheduled, at 6 p.m. EST. Gino Samuel 2.1 released Chris Chan, A Comprehensive History, Part 59, on YouTube. I like how a he's couple of hours himself. later, he launched a live stream in which he announced he would be taking a break from the series until early 2022. So I was going to go on break after Part 60, which would be uploaded later this month. It's, that's not going to happen. Um, so that's the guy that's making the documentary. I felt that I, I, I could still keep going and upload 60 and then go on a break. His voice doesn't sound like the the fucking document. Is, are we sure that he's not using AI or is, this, is that how he really talks? Because he doesn't sound like the AI voice. But upon reassessing... Good night, Julie. Thank you for becoming a uh, a member. I appreciate it. How did I discover this? It just came up. Um, I was on YouTube... And I saw Chris Chan, and I keep hearing about Chris Chan, and uh, my friend was watching them, and, and all this other stuff. And then when they got freed from jail, that's when I was like, you know what, we'll start, we'll start watching it. So we started watching it on, um, on my channel. We started watching the documentary when he got released. Chris Chan, most documented person on the internet. See you later, boat captain. This situation at the moment, I I feel be a bit. Hey ho, studios, what's up, dude? And taking advantage of uh, a very disgusting si situation that's currently still being developed by making more Christian content. So I want to wait until this this kind of dies down a little bit more, so we have a better idea of what of what has happened. Um, and then I'll come back in 2022 with part six. He not they please. They is a general statement for anybody. So I could say, hey, they went outside. You don't say, hey, he went. You could say, hey, he went outside. But you can also say they went outside. Before there was gender pronoun stuff, they was a proper pronoun. You, you know, you know, they is a proper pronoun. You could say that without being a, a gender pronoun, right? So when somebody just says they, it's not gender. Not all of us are idiots like that. In another YouTube live stream, noted lolcow, King Cobra JFS. Speak of the devil. So this is the guy that does the food stuff. Made his thoughts known about the situation. <sighs> Fuck Chris Chan, that nasty ass motherfucker and i mean that quite literally because he really is a motherfucker like jesus christ youtube i am over it ah, people suck and eat a beer that, that beer looked reddit good. user chris is a man posted a photo of they implies multiple people not necessarily it could be one person it could be multiple people it'd be three four five it's fine to just say hey they went outside or hey you know, it's it's not that. I don't play that fucking pronoun game. I'm going to say they if I want. Of the Chandler's Dodge Caravan. I was an English major. Van In the parking lot of the Regency Inn in Richmond, Virginia, confirming where Chris was staying that night. The hotel happened to be across the street from Regency Square Shopping Mall, where Chris, as a child, met Leonard the Bernstein, mall. the animatronic conductor, 
who briefly chatted with the boy and misinterpreted his name as Christian, an encounter which led him to legally change his name to Christian. In the early hours of August 1st, news of Christine's location spread throughout interested online circles. At 2.20 a.m., an individual voice recorded himself calling Regency Inn staff about Christine. Thank you for choosing Regency Inn. How may I help you? Uh, hi, I recently arrived in uh, Richmond, and I was wondering if there are any uh, beds. No, we are all booked. Do you guys know that a guy who raped his mother is in there? The trolls called the hotel. Uh, we're, we have. You didn't piss me off, right, Chan? I'm just telling right you now. how English works. So you're speaking with the police right now. <laughs> that is yes. good. I was. I was just on the phone. So multiple people called about this dude. With them. Hmm, very good. Well, okay then. Another Reddit user then also traveled to the hotel to take photos of Chris's car. People from Reddit traveled to go find where he was at? Are and of the hotel. Many more arrived to park by the hotel by the morning in the hopes of witnessing her. One such individual recorded Christine leaving. People were stalking this fucking hotel. Her room on the second floor. Oh my god. He also noted that there were police officers in the area, though they were unsure if the presence was because of her. Christine was then followed by- I think the trolls are just as bad as Chris Chan is, by the way. The car and photographed walking in the direction of Regency Square. Null then shared on the farms a notification he received from Chris's bank, informing him that her bank balance was down to- Noel is showing all this stuff. So this guy's name is Noel, right? Or it's like somebody, they're getting notifications from Chris Chan's bank. How are they getting notifications from Chris Chan's bank? One dollar and three cents, two days after stealing $750 from Barbara. Noel informed four members that her bank balance had been negative $200 before withdrawing the amount from her mother's account, and that $383.89 had been paid to the Regency Inn, possibly paying for her stay up to August 5th, which then left her to spend nearly all of the remaining 100 They spent $700 in two days? $68, presumably on supplies, in Regency Square. Fail launch, I'm not going to rewind and go back and all that. I'm just watching the documentary through, but I believe you on that. Meanwhile, Lolcow and convicted felon Ethan Ralph. Host Ethan fucking Ralph. God damn, he was fat back then. I saw Ethan Ralph not too long ago. I was actually on a um, an online game show. It was um, an online spelling bee. And Ethan Ralph was on it, and he was way skinnier now. On August 5th, 2022, Chris's defense filed for an autism deferred disposition, a program allowing for probation like conditions with the potential for the charge being dropped. The incest charge is ultimately dismissed in August. Yeah. Stuff controversial podcast. Yeah, we're almost at a, a hundred likes, guys. We're by his like partner, away, was live streaming himself driving to the hotel where he hoped to interview Christine and tried to convince her to tell him that she had been manipulated by Null to rape her mother as Ralph had a long-standing hatred of Null and QB Farms because they kept a record of his misdeeds and made fun of him. Oh no, tinfoil, I wasn't, I was just saying I wasn't going to rewind and go listen to the, uh, to the stuff that was previously in the thing because I don't even have a timestamp. When they got to the hotel, they knocked on every door of the second floor since Chris was seen leaving from there but got no answer. Ralph and Co. then went to Regency Square under the belief that Chris may have been shopping or ambling there but did not find her there I didn't either. Know Ethan Ralph, did Ralph this. was then informed that police arrived at the hotel and so made a return in time to live stream police officers arresting her and placing wow, her into a, a police car. Wow, there's a whole bunch of people fucking Other observers also Chris video recorded to the event. You would think this is like Har Lee Harvey Oswald or somebody like like a real fucking notable figure getting arrested. Yeah, they're arresting Christian here at the hotel. Look at that, like. Kill stream, baby! When 
When you get out, let's do the kill stream. Look me up. I didn't know Ethan Ralph did that. Beautiful. Look up, Ethan Ralph, kill stream. I live here in Richmond, buddy. Go to church. You better hurry, Jesse. You're missing out. <laughs> Yeah, the art, the rest was even art. Like everything about Chan is archived. Yeah, imagine staying at this hotel not knowing what the I, what the fuck is going on at all. And also, why the fuck do they have so many police police officers arresting Chris Chan? What's up, Slayer? I, I, why do they have so many people arresting Chris Chan? I'm oh. fine. I am good. Is like the You are. Yeah, I think so. Are. Yeah, you, you appear to be compliant. I have compliant. you, your goddess blue heart, and I continue to stand strong, and I maintain everything with quick fill and my side juice and rose juice and everybody. Yeah, you're lying to about 3,000 people right now, Chris Chan. You're taking everything in stride. You said you're doing good? Yeah, I keep a good faith. Everything is going to work out. Doing good, feeling good? Well, How's the last I didn't know Ethan Ralph did it's this. Been pretty stressful. It's been stressful, but I've taken it one moment at a time and I've got my, I've got my loves. Well, you that's like good. Josh Moon did, like, did you dirty? Oh, well, that, just the one thing. That so Josh Moon was the one who did him dirty, I guess. I guess you might be right on that tinfoil thing. They're probably warned that Chris would violently... I don't think Chris would violently resist. That's back up in case anyone tries to get at Chris. Yeah. Feel free. Just go ahead and take it. I have a picture of muffins for my little pony. I love Quest for Chris. And please, I would like that for my collection. What's up, Jesse? Man, I wish I would have caught this when it was happening live. Yeah, we were trying follow. to get you on the show, but look, when you get out, look me up. Kill stream. I don't know if you know who I am or not. We're here to help you. We saw what Josh was doing to you, so we wanted to come try to talk to you. What's up, butt shakes and ruffles? I have nothing else on Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, when somebody's not there and they haven't had a good history of a authority figures in the past i mean he did run over somebody at one point so yeah i hear you on that that would have been pretty epic though if chris chan would have fucking just went total like fucking hulk mad mode and just fucking started destroying shit and <laughs> some chairs that would have been epic frisk me there you go and he laughed <laughs> Said that felt good. Did he really rub underneath fucking Chris Chan's titty? What's happening? Christine, is the merge coming? All right. It's happening now. We're on the burn. The merge. Spread. It's happening right now, isn't it? Right now, it is. We're living it. It's happening. The merge is happening. Farewell, Chris Chan. Yeah, the merge is happening right now. Well, there goes Chris Chan into the Henrico County. Deputy's car here. I don't think they've had a an arrest like this. Dude, that was like way too wild of an arrest for for just Chris Chan. Like I've seen less people respond to a fucking DUI or a fucking like actual criminals than that. Is it too close for home? Do you reference Waco to a sex sentence? I don't give a shit. Came across the court proceedings paperwork. Hey, you're really going down the ra the rabbit hole, McFly. Now he knows how his mom Bye, felt. Chris. Did he cuff Wherever the mom? Wherever your next journey takes you. We love you, Chris. At 8.23 p.m., Christine was booked in Henrico County Jail West without bond. On August 2nd, Chris's Patreon account was suspended for potential violations of the site's community guidelines. Also on that day, Greene County Sheriff's Office's Facebook page issued a statement regarding Christine Weston Chandler's arrest for crimes of incest while additional charges were pending, remarking that she had been transferred to the Central Virginia Regional Jail. Chris was notably referred to by... Quit falsely accusing Chris. They were found innocent in a court of law. When did I accuse anybody, Magenta? I'm watching a fucking documentary. When did I accuse anybody?
the male pronouns. Fucking moron. She was soon after acknowledged as female and placed alongside female jailmates, possibly based on the gender listed on her driver's license, as seen from her initial custody record. Just However, joking. she was Alright, I take back your fucking moron. Transferred to the male population <laughs> of the jail. News sites, both statewide and internationally, published articles concerning Chris and her charge of incest. The story was soon covered by Fox News anchor Tucker Carlson in a short segment, erroneously believing Christine's legal name I was Chris Chan. I can't believe Tucker Carlson actually... A YouTube actually... personality called Chris Chan has just been arrested in Virginia on, of all things, God damn, you know when the mainstream charges. news is covering Chris Authority Chan. Authorities say Chan... That's so fucking wild. Like, who the fuck is Chris Chan... To be covered by fucking... He was having sex oh with his 79-year-old mother who has dementia. Chris Chan is a biological man, but he identifies as a woman. Reportedly, Virginia authorities initially went along with that. They classified Chris Chan as a female. And that means Chris Chan, who is... An Imagine if Chris Chan would have got sent to a women's jail. An accused sex criminal would have been housed in a women's jail. We understand that decision has been reversed, likely due to public pressure. It became public, unfortunately, for the state of Virginia. And Chan is now being considered a man by the jail. Meanwhile, I'm glad as they took him to a men's jail because that would have been a fucking disaster. Anon grew, Bella deleted her tenth anon that would have been a disaster if he went to a women's jail. Anonymous Instagram account. The tenth anonymous username led Kiwi Farms investigators into tracking down Reddit user Careless Metal 423 who had used tenth anonymous as an alias and had shared on Reddit a YouTube animation video which belonged to the channel Kelly Osborne. The Kelly Osborne channel also contained a longer video that included the suspected Kelly's voice, which many QB Farms users declared sounded like the same person as on the incest call recording. Chris is gonna be touched in jail. Oh look, the talentless blue Pokemon Chris wants is already to out of jail though. Peace. Your retarded faggot that has no friends, and you're so ugly, noob. La 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 la. A Kelly Osborne Twitter account was also found, which followed short-time Chris Chan troll Larry Vaughn and had also once tweeted at Christine. The connection between Kelly and 10th Anonymous was further confirmed as both the defunct Instagram account and Kelly's Twitter account shared the same profile image. On Reddit, yeah, Bella's Metal Chris has already been touched up. 423 had posted in the subreddit for Texas Tech University, writing that she was a student there. The account had also posted a video of herself seemingly rescuing a stray dog, showing a fairly clear view of her appearance. That's the one thing about bad trolls is they don't know how to cover their fucking tracks. They always leave their old videos public. They always leave old stuff that identifies them. They always get fucking busted. Are you, he's not cold for sugar. Well, yeah, we're warming up. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm not a dog person, but you're blocking my way out. So I'm going to grab you by the throat again. I'm sorry. Bella, using several other accounts, began messaging Kiwi Farms users who were investigating her and posting her information, writing that they allegedly got all the info wrong. She then wrote that she recorded the incest call Thank you, while Casey's her supposed accomplice, that. Billy, was the one conversing with Chris. To further obfuscate the truth, Bella posted on 4chan, sharing the sutress's photo, What's labeling up, her as Chris Chan's girlfriend, real name Kelly Osborne. She added that 10th anonymous, Robert Rivera, how's it going? Bella, was one Billy S It's the same mic and video. I just sat back from it a little bit. Sawyer from the state of Michigan. On August 2nd, the supposed Bella emailed Gino Samuel regarding her eventual appearance in the documentary series. Wow, so she contacted uh, Gino Samuel? Gino replied that he could not reply as he was currently on sabbatical from the documentary until February 2022 instead suggesting that she contact Quickcentric YouTuber Gibby for a more fruitful discussion. A day later, Gibby uploaded a YouTube video regarding the incest leaking based on conversations held with Bella herself, who also provided for him exclusive screenshots for out. the upload. One such chat screen cap was between herself and the sutras, which Gibby shared without censoring the sutras's phone number. He also stated Bella's deceptive claims that the sutras was the Kelly Osborne alias currently being sought after by Kiwi Farms. Gibby soon after deleted the video and re-uploaded a new version with added information gathered from Kiwi Farms, while still failing to censor the sutras's contact details. 
This too was soon deleted, which he promised to modify and re-upload again. But by this point, new information had come to light, and this particular video was left off- Supposedly that was the suitor? Offline. Over the private sutris? messaging on Kiwi Farms, Gibby wrote that he was distrusting of Bella and her claims, and felt she might have been trying to frame someone else. The sutras reportedly then had her internet privileges revoked, and possibly taken to psychiatric inpatient care. Regarding Kelly Osborne, Kiwi Farms members found one of her closest friend's personal identity by identifying the dog on his brother's face. You identify somebody's real personal identity by identifying the dog that was in the video. Facebook profile as the same dog that was rescued by the so-called Kelly. These internet sleuths are next fucking level, dude. Kelly. The friend's Facebook interests included Chris Chan. The friend was then tied to the Ternary Mercury Kiwi Farms and YouTube accounts, meaning that this was Lewis from the chess club. Based on Kelly Osborne's Twitter profile describing herself as a coder slash cryptography major, the Reddit account Nobody's Business 77897 was found, who had posted a photo of herself on the subreddit Roast Me, which called on posters to post photos tracks. of themselves so others would insult them. Nobody's Business described herself as a lonely 4chan dweller in college for computer engineering, and her physical appearance matched that of Kelly Osborne rescuing the dog. The Reddit account was soon after apparently suspended. An archive of the account found that she had also posted on the Texas Tech subreddit. She had also posted on the Roast Me subreddit a photo of her friend, who matched the known appearance of Ternary Mercury. That is definitely some CIS stuff, CSI, and then they found his or friend Lewis, too. Who held up a piece of paper declaring himself as Reddit user Turner Merc. Another two-year-old Roast Me post by Bella was uncovered, it's, in which she held the traditional- A lot of us grew up on Slylock Fox, it's in our blood. Dude, it's like, you don't use the same username if you're gonna be a fucking a troll, and you don't tie them together and integrate name. them together. The paper's reverse side revealed the printed text, Gator Breakpass, dated in 2019. Jesus Christ, A two-year-old comment this found shit. Bella telling another user that she lived in Fulton, Maryland. The gator was the mascot of Reservoir High School in Fulton, Maryland. Judging from the dates of her posts, Kiwi Farms users deduced that Bella slash Kelly Osborne had graduated from the high school in 2019. Looking through the Reservoir High School grad- They watched the high school graduation? Graduation ceremony video on YouTube, she was eventually found among the long list of graduates, revealing her true name. Dude, they fucking busted this troll so fucking hard. Isabella Loretta Janky. Wow. And at the time, she was doing all that shit against Chris Chan. That's hilarious. Thank you for the super chat, Tommy. Can I get a hashtag Tommy Sis in the chat? From this revelation, four members uncovered her past and present home addresses and her parents' phone numbers. In the days that followed, it was learned from evidence brought by and retrieved from her friends and accomplices that she had a past history of allegedly sexually assaulting women, confessed sexual arousal attained from men petting cats and cats themselves, and allegedly abusing and overfeeding her cat. There are conflicting reports that Bella may have neglected and mistreated the dog she had rescued, which led to its death. She also claimed to have caused the deaths of at least eight hamsters, including Jesus. at least one instance of allegedly cooking a hamster and eating it together with Lewis. Bella admitted to wanting to rape the aforementioned hamster and seemingly shared a video over Discord of the hamster being boiled alive. She boiled the hamsters, that's what you meant earlier. She recorded video of a hamster being boiled. Live in a pot. What a Kiwi fucking Farms weirdo. investigators also uncovered a local news report from December 2019 about a live hamster that was thrown out together with the trash on the campus grounds of Texas Tech University, suspecting this was Bella's doing. Bella also documented herself causing property damage and framing others to pay for maintenance. She is fucking crazy. Electrocuting herself with a taser for a video and admitting to tasing a fellow student she had just met. Producing a plethora of drawn pornography, including scenes depicting gore, incest, and She's children. She's 100% And allegedly collecting child pornography for her own use and for reselling. 
She also had a self-documented history of fecal incontinence and shitting on the floor. Excuse me? And donated two dollars through super chat thank you again tommy did they just say she had a history of shitting on the floor did i hear that correctly she did like some amber heard bullshit in the days following christine's arrest dude gino samuel suddenly Gino Samuel suddenly turned this from a Chris Chan documentary to let's talk about Isabella Janky after she was saying she didn't want to be in the uh, in the documentary. What if he started to do a whole series about her? She attempted through numerous means to dispel the truth, but ultimately failed. Bella was some time after allegedly she got suspended fully fucking from Texas Tech here. University for two years for unspecified reasons and allegedly relocated to New Mexico, functioning under a new identity, Maxine Sidero, which suddenly appeared on Instagram She and is Facebook. janky, right? Despite Jean her Garrett. slightly altered and possibly photoshopped online appearance, the profiles of Maxine were linked there conclusively were a lot of videos to were Bella back in the day. as the quote-unquote Maxine had shared a photo of a pet pig, which matched the likeness of Bella's mother's pet pig. Furthermore, her new Instagram account was friends with Lewis and had posted photos with another member of the chess club. After the events of August 2021, Bella's online and in-person activities largely went unnoticed. Bye-bye, Bella. As for Christine, she remained in jail, seemingly under the belief that her actions would bring no long-term repercussions and that her confinement was a result of a momentous misunderstanding. Whatever historic event she thought would come about during the Dimension merge was seemingly taking place. A perverted expression of affection brought about by the burning of sexual frustration. This turn of events propelled her to a level of attention never before experienced, further this adding to her sense we, we of importance the whole and self-grandiosity. Much of Chris's belief that her life in particular was one of great significance, no doubt was an effort 15 years in the making, as online observers continually followed and notated his activities I mean, in the most excruciating be. detail possible, striving to complete a complete record of this particular person's life, turning, in the grand scheme of things, an insignificant and ill-functioning individual into an icon of significance all compelled to contribute in the name of Christery, an unexplainable desire to document Chris Chan and study the minutiae. Switch Crit says they want to thank Chris Chan, though, for a very entertaining 15 years of her life. Some Christorians are compelled to spread the word, believing it is a life story meant to be heard, a lesson in all that can go wrong in a life, the practice of which only leads more and more people to discover her and embrace Christery adding to the ever-increasing record of her infamous life. Some not only seek her out, but also inject themselves into Christery as a means to attain a semblance Damn, of notoriety or to help a pitiful soul who, more often than not, would reject thoughtful, well-meaning efforts in favor of accepting words of false yeah, praise that was weird from the apparent talk. masses. With an international ever-present following like hers, Yet it's not hard to understand that Christine would feel she was of great importance to the world. At this point in her life, no matter how hard Christine Weston Chandler's body would get beaten, there was no overthrowing the mind of Christine, the goddess. Damn. End of season one. So he said this is the series finale, but season one was labeled. Maybe in a few years, couple years, we'll get a a season two. This has definitely been a journey. Failure launch. Fail launch says, "Boom, jump scare." Could you imagine? We get a fucking Chris Chan jump scare at the end. 
What a fucking journey, guys. Jesus. I should have fucking did the Patreon so I could be on there for the last episode. <laughs> Oh, there's the jump scare. <laughs> oh, man, what a fucking ride. What a fucking ride that was, dude. Jeez. What do we do with ourselves now, guys? We're, we're Chan free. At least for the foreseeable future, right? So, yeah, I started watching that because the um, he got released from jail. Oops, shoot. I accidentally moved my fucking camera. What's this? You got Final Fantasy VII today on PS1 on, on Fortnite? Just got raided today? So, yeah, guys, what y'all think? What y'all thoughts? I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on, on this journey. Um, charges were dropped, and he's a free man, or she's a free man. Um, nothing eventful has happened since they've been released, really, except being seen at Walmart a few times. Um, they got a girlfriend. That's it. They haven't done anything to be fucked up, really. They haven't... Surprisingly, there's been no weird... Um, Discord stuff that's popped up or any DMs or calls or anything like that. Chan hasn't really fucked up. So. I never want to hear you say I have a boyfriend. You'll think uh, you watched Kill Bill. That's a good one. Rebirth was fun, guys. If you hadn't seen my review yet, I did make a spoiler-free review um, on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It did fuck with my mind, too. Oh, Bella has a nice rack, but she's batshit crazy. She's, they exposed her fucking good. <laughs> Gino exposed her good. Chris Chan, the movie star in The Rock. Yeah. Chris Chan, the movie star in The Rock. Could you imagine? With Jack Black, Kevin Hart. How's my night been? It's been all right. Just watching this and chilling, really. Um, you're playing that Contra Galuga game. I heard weird things about Galuga. They do the body magic swap. How's my night? Yeah, my night's been pretty good. Probably why you get so many views when live streaming. Yeah, Chris Chan gets some mad views live streaming. Like, he gets like a couple thousand people watching all the time. And yeah, there's there's really been nothing coming out, so how long do you think until he fucks up? If they made a movie from this, it'll top the charts. I've always seen once in a while there's been rumors of like people wanting to do like major like movie documentaries and stuff, but I think uh for the most part the stuff always ends up not falling through. Yeah, I mean, that's a cool thing with the greatest hits uh, with Final Fantasy. A year at most, but we shall wait and see. So when did when did they officially get released? Uh, I don't remember the date. Let me look. Do you think that would be up? When did Chan get released? March 27th. Huh. 
holy crap, we're almost like a week away from <laughs> from the anniversary of Chris Chan being he, on the twenty seventh, guys. Chris Chan would officially have been out for a year. Trey needs to do a movie on it. So yeah, it would uh, on the twenty seventh. It would be officially a year of Chris Chan being out, and so far they haven't fucked up. See you later, Switch Critch. I appreciate it. Have a good night. I'm probably not too far off either. That might be your mom's birthday. You don't know your mom's birthday. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Again, thank you all, everybody that put a channel membership, everybody that sent a super chat, donos, all that. Subscribe if this was your first time. I tend to live stream at 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Central Time most nights. So when you uh, come on, just come and check and stuff like that. I'll probably be live tomorrow night at 10 Central. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good night.